Australia's immigration and visa laws are changing significantly, with the most recent adjustments intended to improve responsiveness and flexibility. The Australian government is aggressively modifying migration patterns to correspond with economic demands, as seen by the recent visa allotments in various Australian states and territory and the extensive reform of the visa program. Prospective migrants, temporary visa holders, and students in Australia will be impacted by these modifications. We'll go over the main changes to immigration and visa policies in Australia in August 2024 in this video, along with the most recent amendments that went into effect in July. 1. Australia visa application fees increased. With effect from July 2024, the Australian government announced an increase in the application costs for the majority of visa categories, and the rise is based on the Consumer Price Index, which is applied annually to application fees. The current application fees for visas are $4,770 for the 190 visa, $4,765 for the 189 visa, and $4,770 for the 491 visa. The Graduate Temporary Visa now has an application price of $1,945, while the Student Visa application has seen a considerable hike to $1,600. 2. Australia Doubles State Visa Allocations for 2024-25 The 2024-25 fiscal year's state-nominated migration places have been released by the Australian government. The number of visas granted this year has quadrupled over last year, which is good news for those who wish to immigrate, as Western Australia has allocated 5,000 state-nominated migration spots for the 190 and 491 visas. Victoria has been allotted 3,000 slots for 190 visa nominations and 2,000 slots for the 491 visa, while the Australian Capital Territory has followed suit with 1,000 spots for 190 visa nominations and 800 spaces for 491 visa nominations. Some states are already taking nominations, so prospective applicants should remain updated as qualifying requirements become available. 3. New Migration Deal to Address Western Australia Skill Shortages A contract for 10,000 skilled migration spots for the 2024-25 fiscal year was signed by the Western Australian and Commonwealth governments, marking a significant step towards addressing labour shortages and promoting economic growth. The economy of Western Australia stands to benefit greatly from this deal, especially in the area of residential building. Of these, 5,000 spots are allotted under the state-nominated migration program to supplement Western Australia's prior allotment. 4. Closure of Business Migration Program Applications for the Business Visa Subclass 188 were no longer accepted after July 31, 2024, which closed all streams of business visas, however, applications that were already submitted would still be processed. Visa extensions may still be applied for by holders of the subclass 188 visa in the business innovation and significant investor streams. If the principal applicant already has a subclass 188 visa or receives one after an application is already submitted, family members of those who possess one may also submit applications. 5. Migration News for Northern Territory 2024-25 In the 2024-25 program year, the Northern Territory received over twice as many nominations for skilled migration than it did the year before. The state is still accepting and processing applications from those who are stationed on shore, even if processing of offshore applications has been temporarily suspended but applications previously filed overseas will still be reviewed by the state. Under the revised offshore application parameters, new applications from candidates located overseas must be submitted by August 12, 2024, and more details on the updated requirements for candidates will be made available closer to this date. 6. Big Breakthrough for Partner Visas The immigration legislation pertaining to Australian partners and prospective partners has gone through significant modifications as of July 1, 2024. The purpose of these modifications is to make the visa requirements easier for prospective, present, and intended partners. They will be applicable to both newly submitted applications filed after July 1st and to those filed before July 1st, but not yet finalized. 7. 
Philippines Passport Holders Eligible for Work and Holiday Visa The Australian Department of Home Affairs has greatly enlarged the Work and Holiday Visa program, and citizens of the Republic of the Philippines are welcome to apply as of July 1, 2024. The expansion of the Work and Holiday program strengthens relationships between Australia and the Philippines by promoting cross-cultural exchange and providing valuable work and holiday possibilities. That will be all in this video. Please share your opinions with us in the comments area. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and enable the notification bell to receive updates on job and immigration news. Thanks for watching.